what's happening? Today I'm going to show you how to turn timber into air and cupboard shelves. It's a straightforward slat design. Here we go. So I started out by measuring up my timber. Luckily I had a nice round one meter cupboard that I was dealing with. So it kept things nice and straightforward for me. Marked everything off nice and square with a set square here. And then I decided that I would move everything outside create a little less mess in the garage so set up my miter station on my, my workbench outside got everything set up and safety glasses on of course and got to work cutting all the lengths if you have a stop block you can use that but I didn't so I just uh, used my marks instead I gave everything a quick sand at the edges get rid of any splinters and, and roughness and everything was good to go so i transferred it inside to the garage again and i screwed a couple of pieces of wood together to make a spacer uh, after a bit of uh, trial and error working out what space i liked i then used a couple of offcuts ideally this would have been one long piece of wood but i wanted to use what i had lying around and not buy it anymore so it worked a treat i drilled a couple of pilot holes in each slat and then used the impact driver to pop in a couple of inch and a quarter screws and then this i found just kept everything nice and tight i did try one screw in each to begin with but uh, everything was a little bit wobbly and not great it's important to keep everything pulled tight up against the spacer and then i just worked through uh, repeating all of these getting them nice and tight so i uh, kept it going and i used the spirit level as well just to check that I press against the edges to make sure everything was in alignment and kept on going pilot holes followed by screws it's really handy to have a drill with your drill bit which i use the countersink bit in and then to have an impact driver or another drill with another bit in it so you're not constantly swapping bits but sometimes you have to make do if you've just got the one drill so as you can see once complete it was a pretty sturdy structure and the edges would be supported once they're in the cupboard so here i've got my battens and things i'm going to put around the walls in the cupboard i've got i just put them in place and got them as straight as possible before drilling into a stud so to find the studs I used the stud finder it was a fairly cheap one on Amazon I'll put one in the link below you can also use a magnet which will find the, the nails that are in the studs but uh, this guy seems to work all right if you can't find studs you can use some wall anchors some heavy duty metal roll plugs effectively and that can help but studs are the best way to keep things sturdy so after each set of studs I've put up, I tried the, and tested the shelves and the walls can fluctuate a little bit so you might need to make some adjustments. Sometimes those walls can be a bit less straight than you think. But I finished off with a third shelf up the top and popped in some towels and things that will live in there. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.